I'm the flat cat bus driver and today I'm not driving a bus because I am on the autonomous bus. I'm with Jim Hutchinson, the CEO of Fusion Processing. Thank you so much for inviting us along today to have a look at the autonomous bus. You're very welcome. Why don't you jump on and we'll have a look. So this is a more or less standard Alexander Dennis E200 uh, with a few extra fixtures uh, and fittings uh, to enable the autonomy. Uh, one of those is a tablet for the driver uh, where they can select uh, the given destination. And as this is set up for depot operations, it's got a selection of the fueling station, the bus wash, or a parking bay. And so just by tapping that device, it can uh, set the bus into, into motion and it will automatically and safely navigate its way to the desired destination. So the bus is fitted with uh, several different sensor units, so it needs to know exactly what's going on around it at all times. An example of that is the cycle light unit, which is up here. And that combines a radar and camera sensor uh, with some processing and that's uh, checking alongside the bus and it's looking for cyclists and other objects which might be uh, coming down the side of the bus and might pose a potential hazard. This system in actual fact is used on non-autonomous buses as a driver aid. It'll detect a cyclist by an audible alert such as cyclist left and that way the driver knows not to change their line and hopefully will uh, avoid any collisions. Cyclist left. CavStar is our autonomous driving system and it comprises of a number of sensors and a controller. It's a fully encompassing autonomous uh, driving system which can be fitted to most vehicles. CavStar uses its various sensors uh, and it builds up a picture uh, as it progresses uh, on, its, on its course uh, so it can determine where everything is, where the obstacles are and it uses all of that information to both determine uh, exactly where it is uh, but also what hazards there might be around it that it needs to avoid, take evasive action or stop for. There's a lot of advantages to the technology and one of those being safety, uh, another being efficiency and uh, they work uh, very well uh, with a safety driver in place and there's lots of advantages to retaining uh, a driver, taking a management role, looking after, after the safety and comfort of their passengers. I'm with Dennis, he's a safety driver with this vehicle at Stagecoach. So good morning Dennis. Good morning Sean, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. Uh, can you explain your role as a safety driver yeah, with, so, with, so. With, with this vehicle? Exactly. Um, as a safety rep from the depot, I was involved in um, a visit to Millbrook to um, effectively see the vehicle being demonstrated um, before bringing it on site. And my job was to um, draw up the risk assessments so that we knew what to expect when it came on site. And Bill Pryder, who's our health and safety advisor, helped me to um, draw up the safety procedures so that people could interact with the, with the appliance in the safest way possible. Wow, it's, it's incredible. And we've been around the yard a few times. We've seen the, the bus in how, how it works and how it moves. And it's, it's weird as a driver, just the steering wheel moving itself. Yeah. Is it something which, at your first viewing of it, was... Well, as, as a driver yourself, you'll understand that the, um, the instinct is to be in control. And you have to step back from that. You have to let the, the technology do its thing. Um, you're, you're, pro you're on programming yourself. You want to press the brake, press the accelerator, turn the wheel, and, and the technology is doing that for you. And it's more about you making sure that the position is right when you're entering to maneuvers. Right. So everything you do as an autonomous vehicle is used, used through the yeah, that's right. that's, mobile app? Yeah, this is the, the app that um, controls the brains of the, of the vehicle. Uh, at the moment, there's three locations, um, as you can see here, and fueling, uh, bus wash, and park. And these are um, effectively instructions that tell the vehicle where we want it to go. Yeah. Right, yeah, so that's okay. as now, that's so a normal bus. Normal bus, there's no autonomous. I can drive it as is, normal yeah. bus. Okay. So, how well, do we start? What we're not going to do is engage the gears just yet. So, the key switch to, to your right hand side, just turn it once and click. Yep. And then choose your option. You can go to any of these options. You're in park, so to top two. Fuel in. To fuel. And that's the way you engaged. Right, so that's under normal circumstances, you would have already selected drive, and to select drive, you have to press the brake. And as you know, if you press brake, you'll disengage. 
Uh, if you were to actually take this in a line for demonstration, you would select drive first, and then flip the switch, and then select the destination. Right, so everything's done everything's through done. Yeah. Capstar. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, can I move the wheel again? Is that right? Yep, so move the wheel and disengage. So, just, so as always, if it's in autonomous mode, yeah. just to move the wheel. Yep, you get an audible that's warning, and that's a disengage. Normally you can disengage by pressing the brake, Dennis, it's been lovely to meet you, and thank you so much for sitting there and not doing much. Yeah, so. pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you, mate. Nice thank you so in. much. Thank you.
I would like to say a big thank you to Stagecoach Bus, Alexander Dennis and Fusion Processing for allowing me to come and see this incredible piece of technology at the Manchester Depot.